well they changed up uh GeoGuessr's website a smidge so you're seeing a uh different intro this time and that's only really me just hitting start game and doing the preamble here as we start another Monday with even more states I mean it is hard to believe there's so many goddamn states in this country can't you just like combine a few of them you'd think at some point we would but anyway we're in Louisiana no. this wonderful state we're uh, breaking out of our <clears throat> excuse me the monotony of hanging out in the center we're going to very much the deep south wonderful louisiana uh it's the only uh state in the union that for some reason has decided to go ahead and uh instead of having counties they have parishes but that's the only real difference between the two it's uh the 18th state admitted to the Union in April 30th, 1812. It, um, its capital is uh, Baton Rouge, which is French for red baton. <laughs> um, probably more known for New Orleans down here. It's a weird state, mainly that it's kind of how you would look at. Uh, I really should probably figure out where the hell we are. Uh, so I'm going to go back, look at this church here. Pentecost. That doesn't help me. Jerry Jones. I wonder if it's the same one that runs to the Dallas Cowboys. I doubt it. Um, where was I? Couldn't tell. Ozens. I don't think this is that. Oh, South 171. There's South 171. How about that? Can I get any bigger? I can't. Well, they've changed things up quite a bit. This is a bit unfortunate that I can't uh, can't change the size here. Let me let me zoom in a bit, see how far this uh, actually there was a school over here, wasn't there? Anyway, the swampland of America, it's 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 a magical place. Home of I'm gonna hit home because I feel like okay, here we go. Let's figure out where we are. Morris team, realty, no, I'm not seeing it. What is in, I'm being distracted so much here. Um, all right, let's just start looking at some signs here, figure out where we are. West Lafayette, I believe that is. Where's left, West Lafayette? There's Lafayette. West Lafayette would make me think we are west of that. Um, hmm. It's a crazy place. Um, really looking at this as a person who's uh, never been here. It's a uh, magic place where it's just the biggest melting plot. When you, when you really kind of think of like um, how everyone says the U.S. is kind of a melting pot. You really can kind of think of that even more so with uh, Louisiana. It's an extremely unique place. Um, it was a French colony, it was a Spanish colony, and it was... Oh, we do have a road here, 467. That very much wears all of that culture and diversity on its sleeve. It's, it's got some of probably the best food in the world. If you don't know anything about uh, Cajun or Creole, I'm sure there's a difference. Apologies if I can't. Uh, nail them as far as it's got to be like here does isn't it because you got junction of 467 it's got to be here there we are okay or like here how much time i got left okay quite a bit did i see any of these we were a little farther down oh i was i wasn't that far off we were in now uh, leesville huh uh yeah anyway louisiana let's 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 keep keep going here it's it's diverse as far as uh elevation actually it's not don't even listen to me the highest elevation is driskill mountain which is 535 feet 163 meters tall the lowest elevation is the actual city of new orleans you know that 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 massive city that you may have heard about in 
uh, TV and whatnot. This is eight feet below sea level. It's uh, got a lot of dams and levees. If you don't know anything about uh, Hurricane Katrina and what it did and the failure of many uh, civil engineering structures, um, just uh, take a look at that. You can look, watch the show Treme. Uh, if you know what The Wire is, T-R-E-M-E-T, -E I believe it is. It's uh, done by the guy who did The Wire. It's about the culture and probably experience of uh, Stanley High School, DeSoto Parish School Board. See, that's DeSoto County, basically. Um, basically, what happened with Katrina, I'll just do a very short uh, sum up of it, where it was dams were built. Dams were, or levees were, uh, are not like a super permanent thing. They do need some maintenance and constant care. People didn't pay money for that. Uh, structure for failing. It was a very large storm surge. Flooding, flooding, flooding. The entire city got flooded. Like, if you ever heard the Kanye West, um, video, have you ever seen that with him, with Mike Myers? For a, uh, charity thing they were doing for Hurricane Trina where he just went George Bush doesn't care about black people that's what that's from having to do with this hurricane um it's got great culture Mardi Gras if you've ever heard of that that's like the epicenter of it is here I've not seen any uh root signs yet I'm a bit concerned I've seen Mount Olive but I don't know what the hell that is uh it's got Mardi Gras you can go here for Partying, that's all. That it's it's like a throwback style. Very French um influence. Man, I'm just gushing here, aren't I? About this magical place that compared to everywhere else, like down here in the south, this is the oh see, I think it's actually Treme is spelled like that, the show. Compared to mostly anything else here in the south, I'm this place is way more interesting to me than pretty much anywhere else down south here, but that's just me. Um, just because it's so unique in that you got like the Arcadian, I believe it's called. Uh, it's kind of a southern, central French heritage. Since, you know, this was part of Louisiana Purchase, and if you don't know what that actually looked like when the U.S. bought it from France, it was like this little, little bit down here, and then it just kind of fucking balloons, and actually even went up to uh, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, like little bits of this was included in that purchase. Basically a third of the country that is now the U.S. came from that. And I have not seen a goddamn thing here. I'm going to get a bad score this time. I'm pretty certain of it. Uh, if I had to give like uh, a list of places, if it was like, hey, where's a, where's a place I want to see what America's like? Like I got Money is not an issue. I want to go check everywhere else. I can go from one city to another. I would have to say probably Louisiana or Baton Rouge is in New Orleans is probably one of the places I tell you to go see because it's just so interesting. I mean, it's also arguably, you could say, it's kind of a juxtaposition where you could say it is and isn't a very good representation of America in the sense that it's so unique from pretty much most other places. And I'm mainly talking about probably like the Arcadia region. I don't know so much about the north of it. It's just so different, but it's also the same representation of when they talk about the melting pot of America. It's pretty much shown here. It's all about computers. Dave's homegrown computers. Interesting. Anyway, let's let's continue talking about this this magical place. Um, even with all of that, it it's got the same type of issues that most southern states have where it's um, ranking low in health education development and has quite a bit of poverty. Let's see here. Louisiana was ranked as the least healthy state in the country in 2018. It has high levels of drug-related deaths and excessive alcohol consumption, while it has the highest homicide rate in the U.S. US since at least the 1990s. So, like, I've, got, I've heard stories from uh, guys I've worked with before who cooked this dude. He is tooling around here. I bet you he has a... Does he have a drink in his hand? No. Or he's hiding it, at least. Uh, stories you hear about rampant drug use 
and Myrdir. But okay, this may actually tell us where we are. We're at the junction of 516. Keep that in mind, 516, as I take a look at what this other intersection is up here. Freyberg. Hmm. Like, if you want any more interesting, like, 516 and 371 food stuff, you can always watch those food shows. Like, uh, you could do no reservation stuff, watch any of that. It, it's interesting. If that's the type of stuff you're into, like food culture and life dealing with that. 371? 371. Oh my god. I am on the ball as far as actually seeing places here. So now I have to look for 516 and it's good. Oh, 516. Holy shit. Look at that. So actually, what was the name of this little arrow here? Freyberg. All right, we're going to zoom out a smidge and we're going to look for a Freyberg. I don't see a Freyberg. But we're on the junction of 516. So that means. Hmm. It's 516 somewhere else as well? I don't think so. So I think I've. I'm, I'm going to put us right here. And. I think be okay with that. We're on East 516. And we're heading east. And we came off of 371. So we were on this road. But I'm not seeing a Freyberg anywhere. Freyberg has to be this way, doesn't it? I am hung up way too much on this Freyberg thing. Anyway, I'm going to hit home. And uh, go this way. Maybe I can find out exactly where we are. No, I went this way because that's the computer sign. Was it? No, because we went on the other side of the road, I believe, when we were... No, it's the dude with the lawnmower. I am so turned around here. What am I doing? Hi. Um, see, I talked about... It's uh, capital Baton Rouge. Let's see here. Nickname is the Bayou State. The Creole State. It's the Pelican State. The official uh, nickname, I guess, is that. And if you look at the flag of Louisiana, it very much follows the same blue background with the seal of the state as their thing they put on their uh, flag. A lot of states do that. Um, also, I wasn't that far off. I really should have put us farther up north and staying on 371, but I stay click 516 and very much just kind of got distracted. But we soldier on. Um, it says bridges, ices before road. It does not get very cold in Louisiana. If you look at the average temps, even in January, it's the coldest a month on average. Uh, the highs can be 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lows can be around 42. You do Celsius. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. Um, anything else of quick note as we look down here? No official language, as you can kind of say about most of any place in the U.S. There is no official language. People are just like, well, we speak English here. You know, it's just whatever. A lot of French influence here. Uh, it, a lot of uh, slaves were brought in from, uh, as like the port. They would come in here to New Orleans or this chunk of uh, the U.S., and they stayed um, with the French Canadians, the Haitians. I mean, Haiti was also a French colony as well. Uh, it's, it's very interesting. I'll go here at some point. See, we talked about that. Lots of hurricanes. Such a magical location in the world is dealing with that. Free colonial stuff. Um, let's see. French Acadians. And to be also known as Cajuns. Around the Akchafalaya Basin. Don't ask me to pronounce it again because I don't even know what the fuck I just said. Hoping this follows. Ooh, that is a sign. 
I'm just gonna say this has the same uh good quality signage, at least in the map making here, 492 that um Kentucky also had. We are in the Baghdad community, not the same one. Okay, this is 71. So let's look for 71 there. 71, holy shit. And was that junction of 361? 492. Let's, I wish I could make this bigger. Why did you get rid of that on me? So we're going to look for 492. 71 is a snaky some bitch. Okay, where do you, okay, you do come out here. All right, so we're going to go down to the, uh, way down where the road ends, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, it does. So we're going to do one click in, and we're going to look for 492. The problem is, this is a very 457. I'm going to put us there, even though that's not it. The number's close. What number? Okay, that's Bayou Road. Oh, wait, 456. I feel we might be close. What's this? That's Bayou Road. All right, so 470. Maybe I've uh, 496. We are into the looking glass, folks. We got to be around here somewhere. Where is 71? All right, I'm going to put us here. Although this doesn't look like Alexandria anywhere. We're in a Baghdad. Come on. Show yourself. 492. Holy shit. Here we go. So we're going to hit home and try to figure out exactly where this is. We ran out of time. Pretty good score, though. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Final round. Here we go. Leaving East Carroll Soil and Water Conservation District. Hmm. This feels like it's up north. Madison Parish. Okay. I'm fighting back at sneeze. Anything else to mention here that I feel is important that I've talked about? Louisiana Purchase, you know about that. Their food, flooding. Uh, it's a very Protestant-heavy state. Uh, Louisiana State Capitol has the tallest Capitol building in the U.S. And very much like uh, the previous states, when you look at like the uh, tree map of the popular vote and how it breaks down, you can find this on Wikipedia if you want to look for it. Uh, let's see... Sports. Louisiana is nominally the least populous state with more than one major professional sports league franchise. You've got the NBA New Orleans Pelicans, who used to be the New Orleans Jazz, but then they moved to Utah, and they kept the name Utah Jazz, because when you think of the state Utah, you think Jazz. And they also have the New Orleans Saints. For football. Um, let's see, we've got each East Carroll Parish. Now, I don't know any county names, so I'm just going to go off of hopefully finding root names. SP Limit 55 does not help me. Hmm. Anything of interest that I also have here? Or, no, nope, that's kind of it. It's an interesting place. The weather is awful. It's hot as fuck. It's humid. I'm going to steal. Okay, excuse me. Sorry. I tried to fight that back the whole time. Sondheimer. Doesn't ring a bell. We got church, New Zion church. That's a speed limit sign again. Going into a speed zone, but I'm not seeing any actual... Uh, Signage anywhere, Bondheimer Woodyard, buying scrap metal wood. It's just this just feels hot also. A lot of bugs here. Bugs, hurricanes, um flooding, especially down south here. I mean it kind of it, it's very much a whole tributary thing. The most of this was actually created by um through the eons. The Mississippi River flowing down 
depositing all the soil down here, kind of making this into what it is. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of a lot of stuff under under sea level right next to the ocean and there's a couple of places in the world that are very much like that that have a lot of people that live them looking at you guys over here in the netherlands we're in the same boat and when you don't maintain investment wow i've run out of so much time already i'm gonna get the worst score possible up here um everything's flat here so i'm guessing this is north but i really have Absolutely no idea. Since the whole state is flat, I'm really surprised. I thought there would have been at least one mountain. But as you heard me say, 500 feet, that ain't much. Sorry about the sniffles. They're uh, coming back with a vengeance here, and I'm almost done with the video, so I'm going to go blow my nose once this is done. But Roosevelt. Hmm, <clears throat> so. Louisiana cane break. Interesting. Oh, we were over in, in Sondheimer on Route 65, next to the Mississippi. But not a bad score, at least for me. Two of them were fucking way off, but not much else I can do about that, other than record these and hope you enjoy them. We're almost halfway through all the states here. There's maybe 30 left, give or take. I'm kind of just thinking in my head how many are left and we're through the L's right now so we just got M and O P and then all the rest afterwards but this Monday's done Louisiana's done this is a recommended place I mean maybe it's more of like recommended city down here but still this is an interesting cultural stir fry you could say anyway we'll be back here on Wednesday with some more GeoGuessr uh, if you appreciated this, thank you. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions of maps, ideas, anything at all, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I will look at them, review them, talk to you, and depending on what it is, probably end up doing it. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your Monday. We'll be back here on Wednesday for some more Guessing Geography. Bye.